Well, as we were saying, Andrew's just picked me up in this new S3 Lotus Elise, which he picked up last weekend. Yeah. And it's the first time I've had a proper drive of it. Now we've all calmed down a little bit. Do you want to tell the viewers a little bit more about it? Yeah, well, I was uh, in the market for uh, a newer Lotus Elise. So I thought, I've always wanted an Elise, so I'll get the S3 because I think it looks great. But the, the newer headlights, uh, the all-in-one headlights, kind of looks a bit mclaren -y. And I saw this up for sale privately. This beautiful metallic black colour with a gold fleck and yellow stripes. And I've always been a sucker for any sort of splash of yellow on the Lotus, uh, especially stripes, because I, I like that. And this was advertised as the Colin Chapman edition, which comes with this paintwork, the stripes, uh, this wonderful interior with the, the lever on the dash and the uh, yellow stitching and these beautiful seats that you can see behind me. They are pretty nice, very comfortable. With the, with the, Lotus, uh, the Lotus badge embroidered in them. And it's just, this is very much the basic model. It's back to the lightweight principles of the first uh, Series 1 car. So it's as near, near as the 850 kilos as it could possibly be. Because over the years, this Lotus has added more and more and put uh, superchargers on their engines to go for more performance. The cars have got heavier and heavier and they've got more towards the metric ton, but this strips it all back to around 850, 900 kilos. Got no air conditioning in here. Got a radio, which works quite well, but that's pretty light, isn't it? It's not adding much weight. One thing I have just noticed though, is we're currently tuned into BBC Radio 2 and he does have his granddad jumper on today. Yeah. He's so fitting I, right I, into I, the I Lotus thinking, well, wells. To be a Lotus owner, you do have to be a little bit more mature. I haven't yeah. bought a flat cap yet, but that no, might, I think that's definitely on its way. I'm trying to grow a beard. I'm trying desperately. You've been trying for many years. I know, so. but uh, I, I am morphing into the Lotus owner. <laughs> so this is, like you said earlier, this is 1.6. It's got Humble Origins. It's from something like a Toyota Corolla. Uh, Lotus have liberated about 134 brake horsepower out of it. It revs to 7,000, about 7.1 and it's got uh, variable valve timing. It's quite a cami engine, it hasn't got a lot of torque low down, but once you get it up about 5,500, you can really feel it go onto like an aggressive cam. Yeah, it is, and it's very VTEC in its kind of power. It's it? very Japanese, and that sort of Japanese, you hear that, that Japanese profile is kind of what you want. This is a trust exercise now oh, because we'll be, I've only had this car three days and this is only about the second time I've driven it. But this is how much I trust Dan. Oh god. So I'm, uh, and I've got a hill start to do. Letting him take the wheel. Right. And he, and he knows the roads. These are local roads for him. So. Well, it's a very short travel on Very short pedal. travel clutch, yeah, it is. And uh, the pedals are lovely spaced for heel and toe if you so wish. I will. And the, uh, the, the gearbox is very, you've got to be very positive with it. Have you? Yeah. stick on it, oh, but you've got to give it an extra little um, press. It's hard to find the bike point. It is hard to find the bike point. It's not an obvious bike point. And it, like you say, it's a very short clutch. And we're away. Into second. Very jerky second. It is. It's not the slickest uh, gearbox in the world. Whoa, the steering wheel's really light when you move it. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's so heavy. Just it's there. very heavy. Um, initially, but as soon as, as soon as it's moving, because there's no weight over the front axle, they're quite skinny tyres. Yeah. Uh, the first few degrees are very light, but then what you'll find, because there's a tight corner, once you get it loaded into a corner, it really, really weights up. So you'll feel that now. 
very stiff. It's a, ve it's a very stiff mechanical throat. You've got to be very positive with it. I think they've worked on it over the years because I've driven some older releases that had a very stringy, horrible gear, gear change feel, but this is a bit more positive. But you know what I mean about the steering really weights yeah, up? It does, yeah. It gives you a lot of information on what the front wheels are doing. I like the pop it things on straight, and it? it sounds fantastic. I want to look after it as best I can, yeah. but I'm very much a believer of cars are there to be driven, and oh, this yeah. car is most definitely there to be driven. Yeah, and it's and it's nice just to be in the car with someone who enjoys driving it as well. You know, yeah. to, to see that you you enjoy driving it too. So, well, uh, that was Andrew's Lotus. Yeah, so that's the introduction to my Lotus. I've only just realised stopping now how much I was smiling throughout the entire. Yeah, well, I was smiling just sat in the passenger seat, but yeah. that's the first time driving on those roads around your house, which are really nice, and I'm they loving are. it. I, I think it's, oh, it's brilliant. well yeah. worth the purchase. Yeah, it's just, definitely approved by me. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> Stay tuned. That was just the intro. Hopefully, we'll make a few more videos of this car and a few more videos of yeah. both of our cars, and we'll do some proper road trips and uh, tell you all of the, the ins and outs and the, the good things and bad things about owning cars like this. So stay tuned and please subscribe. Thanks a lot. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye.